It's beautiful. Um, Just to give a little more introduction about Walter Allred. As I mentioned earlier, he's a church planner coordinator for the Indiana Conference and pastor of the Lafayette and Frankfurt churches. Before moving to Indiana, Walter was pastor of the Woodland Seventh-day Adventist Church and church planning coordinator for Houston, Texas, where he established a monthly network meeting of church planters. And now we'll turn it over to Walter. Thank you very much. And Heather, I want to say thank you for that song. It really resonates with my heart. I want to leave a legacy. Now I'm curious, are you related to John Matthews, the pastor? John Matthews? I guess take it not. (laughs) Okay, all right. I'm just curious. He used to pastor in this conference years ago. He's a friend of mine. I used to pastor in this conference years ago back when uh, Bill Wampler was the uh, conference president. Some of you remember Bill? Did a good job for us here. Got us out of debt. Uh, He actually was very innovative in getting church planting going uh, before it was really the thing. I pastored in this conference about uh, 14 years, went to Kansas-Nebraska conference, and then down to Texas conference where I got very spoiled because they don't do winter down in Houston. But I have to tell you, and in harmony with that song, I was very happy in Texas. I was very happy with palm trees, warm weather, no winter, Uh, wore a polo shirt most of the time, uh, through the winter, forgot there was such a thing as winter most of the time, ran our AC through the winter much more than, than heat, honestly. And, uh, but I started thinking uh, we were very successful. God had blessed in powerful ways in Houston with uh, lay-led church plants uh, that I was working with, and so I set up this network very much like the network we have here in St. Louis. Because it was so helpful there, we thought it might be helpful here in working uh, with training people. So if you want to know more about church growth, how to help your church grow more effectively, how to be more effective in evangelism, those network meetings are very, very helpful. As well as things went in Houston, there was a downside The downside was that wherever I went doing training, which happened to be all over at camp meetings, different conferences, uh, overseas in in, uh, different places, in Cambodia or England or people from Germany, they would discount what was happening in Texas. They said, well, it's just because you're from Texas. It's because you're from uh, Dallas or Houston or or San Antonio, and everything's bigger in Texas, and, and it's just because it's from Texas, and they discounted that it was the Holy Spirit, Chantel. And so I got to be in my bonnet that, Lord, I want to go somewhere back to rural America, back to